Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life, and in today's P4L review, we'll be taking a look at an upgrade kit from M31 Designs, a garage kit production ca casting um, group that uh, has put out an upgrade kit for the Warbertron Whirlwind character. So the upgrade kit consists of two pieces. The first being a replacement set of eyes, uh, red light piping as opposed to the stock yellow that comes with Whirlwind. And secondly, you get uh, your choice of a colored canopy replacement to replace the yellow canopy that comes stock with Whirlwind. So um, we're going to go ahead and show you not only how to install this, but also talk about uh, the overall quality of these products. And uh, yeah, just give you my overall opinion on this. Thanks M31 for sending this over, Megatron 31 that is, for sending this over. And these are the final production um, pieces. And so this will be very indicative of what you'll be getting once you place your order. So first things first, there, um, there's not really much to go over in terms of packaging. Um, M31 Designs did package all these individually bubble wrapped, um, very well secured and uh, it came in a bubble mailer which uh, got the job done and got it over here. They also included this nice little card again M31 Designs. Uh, I'll put some links on how you can keep up to date with their stuff on Facebook as well as uh, some of the pages that they have on TFW. Alright as well as some ordering information. So, so here we have Warbertron's Whirlwind standing in the back here and again these are the stock pieces that you'll see he comes with a lot of yellow uh, translucent yellow he has his eyes which are not actually G1 accurate uh, his characters always had kind of red eyes which is why this replacement uh, kit here comes with this translucent red um, light piping piece which will be a very easy replacement We'll take a closer look at that once we get the stock head off. And then the additional pieces that you have an option of purchasing are the canopy replacements. So the Whirlwind design from Warbertron is a drastic departure from the G1 um, version of Vortex in that it never had this big kind of canopy front of the helicopter um, in robot mode. It was always kind of a flat front, a mix of purple, gray, and black because of the combiner port. Um, but yellow definitely is a um, really um, far detachment or um, step away from anything close to the G1 uh, iteration of the character. So there's three options that you'll get and you can choose. This one is kind of a smoke gray one which probably is the most um, accurate in the sense that the, the G1 character did have uh, a dark gray um, windows with his helicopter mode. If you want to go with purple, the chest on the, the G1 character typically had, again, a mix of purple, predominantly purple and um, gray chest. So this one, what this one might be good if you want to kind of rec recreate that look, that overall look, and put, placing this over the combiner port, which is hidden there, underneath here. Well, you won't be able to see it here, but this gray piece here um, can kind of recreate the look of the G1 character. And third, you have the option for this red, which is the same kind of red that you get with the eyes if you want to match that and just have something different. Um, all three of them have their, I guess, advantages or disadvantages. Um, a couple of things to note with all three of these, they do, these do come unpainted. So notice the original does come with some silver accents here and up here. Very minor paint apps, um, but none of them feature the paint on these frames on the actual canopy itself. So if you want to do that, you can always do that yourself with a little bit of masking and uh, some spray paint or airbrush paint if you want to do that. But um, if you want to at least recreate the identical stock version, then you're going to want to bust out some paint and paint this silver. But uh, it's very minor. You may not even want to go through the hassle. 
So that's really it for the overall um, just look. I'm going to do comparisons directly with the canopy piece and the eyepiece once we get them um, off of Whirlwind. So a few things that you'll need to get this uh, installation done. One is a Phillips head screwdriver for the head and I'm going to be using the trusty Warbitron screwdriver that came with um, the uh, x-ray kit and weapons kit. So that was the, their shockwave that um, you could buy as the I guess sixth member of this group. Uh, you're going to need something small like a um, pin or some people use it because of the way this is situated you can use a flathead screwdriver but you need to remove one um, knurled pin here to get the canopy off. Um, I have this small like iPhone screwdriver it's a small I don't even know what it's called um, like a star shaped one and it ends up being perfect in size for pushing pins out so I got really lucky of having that uh, you'll probably need something to grip on the other side of the pin when you want to get it pulled out after you get it started um, get it pushed out and you can grab a piece and pull that out I just use um, a set of pliers, you might use needle nose, whatever you have that can grip onto it and pull it out. And you may use um, some other like um, tool to help get the eyes out if they get a little bit stuck. Uh, I always use my trusty uh, spudger tool. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into installation or actual removal of the stock pieces. We'll go ahead and start with the head. We're just going to rotate that around and as usual you just have a basic Phillips head screw. I've already gotten this started but as always I'd like to warn everyone that when they remove screws like this to use a proper sized um, screwdriver and a proper sized one is one that um, the head should be slightly bigger honestly than the head of the screw and when you turn it um, just make sure you're applying um, good pressure towards the, the the screw as you slowly unscrew it so you don't strip it. So just go ahead and put this off to the side for now. And then um, you might be able to just pull the head off. I go ahead and get started by just nudging on the eyes a bit. And that for me is a little bit safer than just trying to pull it off the head where the ball joint is. So again it comes off in two pieces. One is the front half, which is the colored blue piece. And the other is the um, translucent yellow light pipe piece. And just so you can do a quick comparison. Let's get him off to the side so it doesn't focus on this too much. Um, Megatron 31 has done an excellent job recasting this set. It looks virtually identical on all sides. A very clean cast too. Um, he's done a great job cleaning it up making sure there's not a lot of flash or um, residue that you're, you're going to need to clean up. But yeah, pretty basic. This is what you get. To reinstall it you're going to want to just do the reverse of what we did before. Um, oh, uh, let me just talk about the quality of the plastic. While this, uh, the plastic that um, Megatron 31 uses is slightly softer, uh, there's no concern for me at least uh, in terms of breakage or anything like that. It's still very, very sturdy. Uh, it's definitely not low quality at all, but it is slightly um, softer than the plastic that comes stock. So to get this reinstalled, Essentially, you're just going to go ahead and just sandwich both of these pieces on the ball joint. And we'll do it from the side view so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And just squeeze the two halves together. It might be a slightly tight fit, uh, but just keep, apply some even pressure and it'll snap right on. So you, even without the screw, you can see it holds on really, really well. And I'll show off some of the light piping a little bit later once I remember to go ahead and get my flashlight. But to install, finish installation of that, you just go ahead and take your Phillips head 
and just screw it back on. Again, remember to apply good pressure towards the screw as to not strip it. And that's it. You're done with the eye replacement um, piece. The harder one will be this um, canopy piece, so just be careful. It's not going to be difficult, but you should just um, you should just be careful and make sure you have the right tool. So again, I'm using this uh, iPhone opener tool. It's like a little star. I, I would advise against using a Phillips head just because it, it has a pointed um, end like this, and it's hard to make sure you don't slip and potentially scratch something. So something with a flat flat edge. Uh, you might be able to even use like a small Allen wrench tool or something like that. But what you're going to want to do, and this is important, uh, I, I mentioned knurled pin before. And what knurled means is that one side of the pin is basically just cylindrical and smooth. The other side you'll see the kind of a crosshatch pattern here. And that's a, a knurled edge. They do that to apply some friction to keep that pin from coming in and out. They don't always use knurled pins, um, but usually on higher quality products they'll, they'll use a knurled pin. It's a little bit more expensive, but it does ensure that the um, pin doesn't slide out as easily. So you're going to want to not push from that side. You want to push from the smooth side. And you're going to want to basically apply... I'm going to try to do this on camera. But if I can't or I hurt myself, I'll just do a quick cut. So here's hoping. So you just want to apply slow, even pressure on the um, this pin here. Sometimes you may need to, oops, uh, you may need to actually put this up against something and tap on the butt end of your whatever pin removal device. Or tool that you're using. Right now I'm, I'm just applying it downward onto my counter and there we go. And you can see my my tool pushed straight through no problem. I hate these cannons. I think maybe Megatron 31 should think of a, um, a mechanism to improve these shoulder mounts on, on Whirlwind. It's the most frustrating part about this character by far. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And then once you get it started, you just need to get a good grip on this edge and yank it out. And that's it. So this is what a remove pin will look like. It's not focusing. Anyway, you get the idea. It's a small pin. Once that's out, you just remove this piece. Again, let's just do a quick comparison. Again, the plastic is a little bit softer on on um, the replacement piece, but again, not to any degree that you should be concerned. Especially since it's not like an ankle replacement, uh, ankle piece, ratchet piece, like uh, the, found in Warpatron's foot, which does break because it's translucent soft plastic. So I'm not going to put all of these on and show you, but I, uh, and, and I'm not going to install all these, but I did want to show you what they look like. So this is the gray one. It does have a bit of a, at least to my eye, a, a bit of a purple hue to it, slightly purple. Not a lot, or maybe more of a blue than a purple. But it, it looks more than just a straight up gray. And it just it might be just the lighting I have as well. I like this one, uh, I think probably the best for my collection. It does look the most plain, so that, that might be something you want to consider. Bringing in the purple version, which I think is probably again the most G1. Uh, for me, the only reason I don't like this one is it is just his chest is already a lot, a lot of purple going on, so it's kind of bland. Then again, I guess so is the gray against a lot of gray. If you want to make something pop, Here's the red. And the red one I do like. Um, I think it looks really good in, with with the red eyepiece. The only problem for me is, is that there's no other red on this particular character. It's himself. Uh, 
there are there are some red highlights on uh, some of the other Warbitron characters, so maybe if you have them combined mode, this might look ideal for that. But yeah, you can you have a good idea of all those now again, and then bringing this back in, kind of see all the differences. So since I'm going to keep the gray one installed in mine. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Oh, um, before I do that, you may find that there might be slight flashing on uh, some of these pieces. I didn't really see any on mine. Uh, I think the purple one is the one that is probably easiest to see if there were any. Like, there might be just some white um, small small pieces. Oh, like the here. So a small piece of flashing came off here. And you're not, you can't even see it on camera, but all you have to do is just kind of rub your fingernail against it and it'll, it'll chip off. But that's pretty typical. So yeah, back to installation. I'm digressing way too much and I want to get this video not too long. To reinstall the pin, you're going to want to put in the smooth side. And it doesn't really matter which side you put it in, whatever side you're comfortable with. Um, I'm going to put it in the same way I took it out. You just want to get it started. This one's actually a pretty easy pin. Um, I could probably just push it in with my my fingernail if I wanted. But if you want to be a little bit more secure, you can go ahead and use your pliers and apply some even pressure to get it in. Just be careful not to squeeze too much because you obviously don't want to damage the plastic on either side. But there you go, that is Whirlwind all upgraded with the M31, um, I believe he's calling it the Eyes Have It 2.0 set. And I really like this gray, gray piece. I think it really does look like the piece he should have had. Um, I'm probably going to add a little bit of paint apps to frame this out. And I think that will bring the entire piece together even more the more so than right now so give me one second so I can get my uh, flashlight so I can show you guys what it would look like um, with some light piping through the red, red eyes so just to give you a look at some of the light piping this is with my black light you can see it does get a good amount of light going through there um, with a traditional white light uh, the only thing I have right now is my iPhone camera, which is a little too bright probably, but you can see since it's very bright, you get a lot of light getting through. So you have a really nice um, red glow that you're going to get uh, if you have the proper backlighting on this guy. This set, uh, I, uh, I'm going to go into final thoughts. I really like this set. Uh, this is definitely a worthwhile set to get, in my opinion, if you're collecting the Robotron set. This yellow just really doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, I, I didn't really like it, and uh, it was really questionable, even early on, from fans why they went with this, as opposed to uh, another color like gray or something like that. Maybe they wanted to make some stuff pop um, a little bit, which I can kind of understand. But I think Megatron 31 is doing everyone a service by offering these at, at a really good price, too. And um, as, as of the shooting of this video, I believe it was $13 shipped in, within, the, within the U.S. for a set of the eyes and your choice of color of the canopies, which is great. That's a really, really great price. I mean, including shipping, that's cheap. And international, I believe, was $17. Again... When, depending on when you're ordering, or uh, when you're ordering, or when you're watching this video, that might be uh, inaccurate at that time. Uh, one other thing I did want to mention is that in the future, Megatron Thirty One did say that he was uh, planning on providing an optional upgrade to this um, tail rudder or rotor or whatever it's called. This piece. This, um, and for an additional $2 for the set. He hasn't uh, offered that just yet, I don't believe. Um, 
but I think you he hasn't shown that off yet. He hasn't sent me a copy. He hasn't made it yet, but he, that is going to be an option for you. Um, it is a install at your own risk product just because it is a flathead pin, which um, is a little bit more difficult to remove than the standard pins, knurl pins or straight pins like this. Um, what you would normally have to do is uh, actually kind of heat up this pin and then remove and pull it out. Uh, you typically people use like a soldering iron to apply the heat. You may be able to push it out from the bottom here. Um, I'm not going to risk it because he said it was uh, advisable to use a soldering iron for this flat pin and that's what most people do but I just wanted to give you a heads up for a future piece just in case you were you were saying oh I like this set but now it, mis, uh, it mismatches with the tail rudder, um, you're gonna have that option as well. All right. So I think that's it for the upgrade set for Whirlwind, Warbitron Whirlwind from Megatron 31. Um, again, th thanks very much to M31 for sending this over. If you guys have any questions or comments on this set, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If you want to keep up to date with all my news and reviews, go ahead and click the subscribe button up here or like me on Facebook at Pick for Life Reviews. And of course, if you want to order um, a set or more of these, um, they're going to be a limited run, at least initially, to 50. Um, so they're probably going to go fast. So if you want to order that, go ahead and click on the links in the description below. That will take you to instructions on uh, TFW as well as M31 Designs Facebook page on how you can order a set. And again, I highly recommend getting this for your um, whirlwind if you are a Warbitron collector. Alright, I think that's all for today everyone. Have a good one.